It all began with the Sustainability Challenge. In the Neo Carbon Energy Project, we began to develop technology for replacing the burning of fossil fuels in society based on emission-free sources of electricity. We discovered that power to X technologies with CO2 capture from the air opened a possibility also for food production from the air with electricity. The Neo Carbon Food Project is a cooperation between LUT University and the Technical Research Centre of Finland, VTT. To this project, VTT brings its expertise in flow module design, microbiological knowledge, as well as methods for CO2 and H2O capture from the air. LUT, on its behalf, brings know-how of hydrogen production, process automation and energy efficiency. This research has already led to the establishment of the startup company Solar Foods, commercialising the natural protein production. Mankind needs an ever-increasing amount of protein to feed itself. New ways for secure food production are needed. In the 1960s, scientists discovered bacteria that could convert carbon dioxide into organic molecules, such as proteins, when hydrogen and oxygen were provided through water electrolysis. In the 60s, the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions was not considered important, but this perception has changed strongly in recent years and can now be addressed using renewable energy. Behind the project is a change in energy thinking. Now processes can be powered, for example, with solar energy. It's available for all and everywhere. If we made in the past electricity from coal and the waste was CO2, now protein can be produced from pollution-free electricity, CO2 and water. LUT and VTT's cooperation has resulted in a concept which has been successfully used to produce protein powder from the air at the moment, the production is measured in hundreds of grams a day. But in a few years, it is estimated to have a production level of 5 kilograms per day, with equipment that fits in one shipping container. And there is no limitation for scaling up the production. Like any mass-produced technology, it gets cheaper as the production level grows. This is the production process. CO2 and H2O is captured from the air. Hydrogen is produced in situ with electrolysis. Microbiological protein is produced in a bioprocess using hydrogen and CO2 as the main raw materials. In the direct air capture process, carbon dioxide and humidity are first separated from air by a solid material. Then, using heat and vacuum, we can produce liquid water and pure carbon dioxide for microbial growth. We designed this integrated water electrolyzer stack to produce hydrogen and oxygen directly into the cultivation medium of the microbes to maximize gas utilization. The microbes in the reactor use hydrogen as energy and carbon dioxide as carbon source. The protein content of the microbial biomass is higher than that of many other foods, such as for instance soybean. This technology requires only a small fraction of land compared with traditional farming. And furthermore, non-arable land is suitable, as it is mainly needed for renewable electricity generation. And that is a needed revolution.